I, I'm gonna say this right now, that for the price of the shoe, that should not happen. What's up, Internet? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Kid of the Week. One of the things that has shown up recently was the release of Castelli's new Aero Race 6.0 jersey and bib short, which is called the Aero Race 4. Yeah, there you go. You know, typical super go fast extended race cut sleeves, you know, all of the typical technical things that you would you would normally look at. It says here, engineered for aero efficiency at 30 to 55 kilometers per hour. I don't go that fast, so I don't think that's really gonna help. But I'm digging the, I mean, honestly, what I'm looking, what I'm really looking at here is the style. I like the way they look. The blue is actually, that's, that's a pretty sick colorway right there. If you're in the white, wow, that's really white. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no, no white. I'm not gonna do the white, but the black and blue definitely are looking pretty sick. And thankfully they don't do the white and the bib short. They just have the, the matching colors there. I think I like the blue bibs better. Those are available right now on uh, Castelli's website. Yeah, moving on. Another thing that's been showing up recently in my feeds is um, Machines for Freedom. They're ratcheting up the visibility of their uh, endurance bibs. I'm really digging the vibe that they have going on here. Super inclusive, lots of positivity going on here. There needs to just be more of this all around. Watching the video, it definitely sounds as though that the bib shorts for women that are designed by women um, probably is a good thing. So, also, uh, it looks as though that uh, Rafa has released their the bib shorts that I mentioned in the last week's episode or the last episode. Uh, people I know on the internet. They've obviously given some more details on the the fit that they've gone for and you know the technical qualities of that the clasp on the back uppers can be detached from the shorts using one hand and without removing your jersey so that's a huge plus there you know a specific uh, chamois design for women again i mean this is something that's uh it's good to see a lot more emphasis going into women's clothing not just being the female version of a men's bib short but like really designing for a women's shape and fit it just it's completely different than a man so it's about time but uh yeah so check out rafa check out machines for freedom two really good options there's a lot more out there as i do more of these i'll pick out more women's clothes to, to show you uh backing up a little bit this stuff came out i guess at the beginning of cross season so that you know that's like three or four months ago it's still flannel weather flannel weather doesn't stop until you know it, it's too freaking hot for it and it's nowhere near being too freaking hot for flannels but hand up gloves um, has produced two colorways of a riding flannel so it's a flexible flannel i'm a huge fan of things that stretch as i've gotten bigger recently but even before that uh, i like clothes that moved with you especially if you wanted to use them on a bike and i you know i do a lot of things in regular clothes on a bike so it's nice to have something that can stretch with you because most clothes at least until recently they were very binding every time that you would move or any kind of movement that you would make you'd be fighting against the uh, the fabric and it's just nice to have something that stretches and kind of moves with you kind of a you know western look there with, i like this color the more than i like the cub scouts uh, color here they also at the same time released the at pant they call it the all-time pant basically it's just like a chinos that uh, are also designed to stretch you know take you from the bike to work the other thing i remember them saying is that they're reasonably priced and like 48 dollars for you know for a pair of chinos from a very small company seems more than reasonable usually you would find these things to be at a much higher price from uh, a smaller company but uh, they've definitely going for the the value on this yeah flexible and roomy through seat and thigh drawstring waistband if you're in between sizes and simply forget a belt that is huge sometimes people don't want to wear a belt but i've received I've had some pants that are like this. I think uh, Jiro, when they were making theirs, they made this really nice kind of all around do everything pant that fit really well. But as soon as I started losing weight, there was no way to keep them up because they were drawstring and they, they just wouldn't stay up. I like the way they fit. Obviously, I don't have that uh, that problem now. They fit perfectly now, and they stay where they're supposed to be. I probably should get a pair of these. These look pretty cool, and I like the green. I want to I want a pair of green. I have a lot of black. All right, I would get both, but. I think I need to get a something different. I have a lot of black clothes right now, and I think the, these would be nice. But again, I just, I'm probably gonna get the black. I'll get the black. Anyway, uh, check those guys out. Uh, $48 for these, and what was the price of the? And $44 for the flannel. So more than reasonable for something that's you know small batch made and you know a technical quality technical shirt. So check those guys out. Other thing I was looking at was, looks like Search and State has released a flannel as well. They're calling this the field shirt. If you're not familiar with uh, Search and State, they do all of their clothing manufacturing in New York City, uh, in the garment district, which is very cool. Looks as though that they've used uh, some Japanese yarns, give it a nice textured effect. You can see that in the garment there, as it kind of keeps it off your skin, which feels good. It looks as though that this is like 100% cotton. I would really like to see this as something that can stretch a little bit, you know, put some spandex in there, about 4%, and that thing will stretch really well. I'm not sure if, th there's no more details on it. This is an email that's just kind of like, hey, this is happening soon. Keep an eye out for it. But uh, as soon as I get more details to it, I'll let you know. I really 
really like the way these things look. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that's uh, something that can something that can stretch. Man, I really hope that stretches. Anyway, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, all right, hold up. Wait a minute. Apparently, I can't get this edit done because as I was editing, everything started to hit the fan again. I couldn't go another week without talking about these shoes. So Specialized decided to drop a pair of shoes that made the internet hurt themselves. They introduced a shoe called the S-Works Exos. And their idea behind the shoe is to use as little material as possible. They made two versions of this thing, the uh, Exos, Exos 99 and the Exos 150. The 99 stands for, both numbers stand for the, the amount of grams that each of these shoes weigh. A single shoe, size 42. They are made pretty much exclusively of Dyneema, which is a pretty cool material, extremely strong. And they also redesigned the shoe completely. So, you know, change of heel counter, um, you know, the structure of the shoe is, it says something about here, like remove it. I think they removed the toe box as well. It's a shoe that's made of just fabric and no, it doesn't seem like there's like much internal structure in there whatsoever. That's where the weight savings is gained. Obviously also laces, this is for the 99. The other shoe that they released was the, the 150. Now this one, oh, and just to get back to the 99, it is a limited edition shoe it's uh they're only making 500 so everything went into making these shoes as light as possible with no holes barred cost is no object the 150 the, uses the boa system uh, so that's one of the main differences i'm pretty sure the shoes are exactly the same except for the fact that they use the boa system so boas are definitely a little bit heavier than laces 150 for these guys uh with the boa i mean you can take a look at all the stuff that the, they're talking about on the shoes it's a you know a detailed explanation on specialized website the biggest thing here is the cost obviously with a shoe that they put everything in and basically said they were designing at tarmac uh, you can expect the shoe to be an extremely high price so there you go five hundred dollars for these shoes obviously the internet had some opinions on that they are the they are the high-end shoe that uh, specialized offers uh, they are over the top of the regular s works 7 i think is the shoe that's out right now so yeah the, the, that's your price that's the shoe um i think they look pretty sick man that's the i really like the use of the dyneema aesthetically they're extremely clean obviously except for the the texturizing there but you know all of their stuff has been extremely clean with their manufacturing process it's it's very cool uh, and a lot of the companies out there are, have been following what Specialized has been doing for the last two versions of the s work shoe yeah I mean it definitely industry leaders in, in the creation of high-end super light extremely comfortable shoes that was the other thing that is like kind of like the hallmark of um, Specialized s work shoes that being said uh, Bella News has already ridden the shoes um, they had ridden before uh, the release the official release of the shoes so uh, we got a little bit of feedback from them obviously they're uh, extremely light they love the fact that they're also extremely comfortable very quickly the one thing that uh, really did freak me out about this is this the, since there is no actual structure in the toe box the Dyneema doesn't really hold its, its shape there and apparently this is caused from toes going through it poking through and creating these these marks and also pressing down that creates these wrinkles I, I'm gonna say this right now that for the price of the shoe that should not happen regardless of how these things are constructed and what they're designed to do i would not pay 500 dollars for something that's going to do that but i mean i know those people are going to be out there that that will pay something for that and they don't mind that something like that happens because they want the absolute latest greatest lightest watt saving energy saving shoes that you can possibly have i mean rotational weight is important so why not go for the lightest shoe there is no weight restrictions on you i do like the carbon sole here so the removal of uh, some material there gets you some venting and still has their 13 index uh, for their stiffness but yeah i mean it's 500 dollars shoe got some weird wrinkling lots of style factor going on here that's about it and now back to our regular scheduled closing you know what to do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already uh, and i'll see you in the next video